I'm going to show you how to make some really cool app mock-up graphics like these ones right here. I have some of these prompts. I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT and MidJourney to create these. I emulated a bunch of different applications like Uber, uh, Gate, random gaming app, and FaceTime. I also did Spotify, and we're going to do a bunch more cool stuff here in this video, so just hang out with me. I'm going to break it all down for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Midjourney. If you need a video on how to install Midjourney on your Discord server, go ahead and check out the video that I have. I'll go ahead and drop a link to it. And what we'll do is we're going to go in here. I'm going to start with the help of ChatGPT crafting some prompts like the ones that I have here where I'm going to say, hey, I want to go ahead and um, get after um, designing a, an app that looks like you know uh, Spotify or something like that. So here's some of the ones I've been working with there in my feed. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I started from scratch though. So this will just be a uh, a quick little quick little walk through here. So the prompt that I started with uh, originally I got from a place called AI Toots. They definitely have a lot of really good stuff. So um, what I did was I said, hey, can you do photography of an iPhone? with a modern user interface of vector illustration of plants, plant identification app on the screen, inspired by Behance and Figma and Dribble. And so these are these styles. And then what I did was I said, <clears throat> I asked ChatGPT to make the prompt better. And then what it did was it provided an enhanced prompt, which it came out with this, and I ran that through. And then I said, hey, can you you know have it uh, holding human hands and then I just tried the prompts out so basically what I'm going to show you here I'm going to start out again with this and I'm going to take this I'll say uh, can you make this prompt better and then I'm going to say can you take this prompt and make it about um, let's see I'm thinking of an app right now. I'm actually gonna say, make it about uh, an app like Gmail. And we'll see if we can do Gmail because that's a really popular app. <clears throat> it says, okay, yep, here you go. And it's giving me the prompt. Okay, and we're gonna take that. And then I'm gonna pass this and I'm gonna say slash imagine. Um, and then I'm gonna put that in there. We're just going to wait because sometimes these do take a little bit to to run. So we're going to wait on that. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to grab my phone right now. I'm just going to figure out some more apps to lean into. So one of the ones um, that we could do right here, let's see, is a Gmail, Spotify, um, Yelp. Um, let's see. Yelp or YouTube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, I'm going to say, can you, let's see this. Okay, so let's pull this up. So right now, this does not look like Gmail at all. And then I think it got caught up with um, the references to Behance, Figma, and Dribble. So I'm going to say is, um, that prompt didn't show an app that looks like gmail at all can you refine the prompt and give me uh, refined prompts with more detail that ensure that gmail is what the app mockup looks like and so we'll see what the deal is it's going to give me five prompts and then it's going to try to fix whatever the deal was. So we actually have ChatGPT interfacing with Midjourney to try to get after that. So let's see. And then what I'm gonna do in, in one of these, is I'm gonna try to not include um, the Behance, Figma, and Dribble. And we're gonna see if that works. But I'm also going to, and I, I encourage this, is like to experiment with the different styles of prompting to see which ones actually include or um, don't include pieces of it. So like if if it comes out perfect with references to Figma and Dribble or if it doesn't, um, that's kind of an interesting thing. 
let's see. So I'm just sort of prompting these. I kind of want to see how they work out, um, what they sort of show. And then from there, I think we can move on here. So let's see. Um, this one did not include um, Figma and Dribble, and it still didn't come out with something that looked like a Gmail application. So we're just getting stuff that looks like a generic iPhone. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna clarify again, I'll say none of these. And this is something that you will, you, you probably will have to do. So don't think this is like a fault on either system. You're gonna have to like really tell ChatGPT like, hey, you really need to think about how you're describing Gmail. Um, so I'm gonna say, hey, can you be more detailed and give me a prompt that for sure will show a Gmail style app. So I'm curious to see what it what it does now. And what I could do is, um, let's see. Oh, you know what, it's this photography concept. Oh, wow, it's adding a lot more detail to this. So I'm curious to see how this works. Okay, <clears throat> we'll see how that one works out. I think you get caught up in uh, the iPhone and photography. And so I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say a smartphone app concept. I'm gonna see if that clears it up. And sometimes it'll say job queued because it's just waiting to hook things up. I'm also going to try this. I'm just going to say, I'm going to build my own prompt. I'm going to say an application on a interface on a phone. phone that looks like Gmail. All right. Yeah, that gave me iPhone three type buttons and definitely did not provide what I was wanting. So this is just showing you how you can work through and get to the bottom of that. That did not work. Oh, gave me a app that looks camera app. Can you make a prompt shows app? Gmail. And sometimes certain words pollute the environment. So you see right here, we have uh, clearly like a phone mockup that looks just like Gmail. Um, rather old style, but it is much better. And I could say, hey, give me variations of one, variations of three. Um, I'm going to also say, uh, highlight that this is a phone app concept. And I think we're saying iPhone photography concept. And so that, I think, is, is definitely getting in the way. Um, okay, right here. So we definitely have something that looks like Gmail. So I'm going to actually say, yep, let me have a couple of those. I'm going to upscale those. And then I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to see what this works. Let's see how this goes. And then I think the Figma Behance dribble thing, where I think we're going to see with this prompt how that works out. And sometimes more simple is better. And you can you can really see where that goes. Oh, here we go. Um, cool, yeah, so that one seemed to work pretty good. Although I don't know what's up with this phone. This is some sort of Android, which is fine. No offense to anybody who has an Android. But um, it would be cool if it was an iPhone. These aren't iPhones, they're just, just dark. All right, let's see right here. Um, yeah, the iPhone photography thing, I think that really polluted 
I think those specific words, I think you sometimes you have to look at the actual output on mid journey <clears throat> to understand what words polluted it. So I'm seeing a lot of emphasis on photography and because it was one of the first couple of words that I provided in the prompts, I think that's what did it in. So, okay, cool. Well, here in a few minutes, we should see this stuff pop up because we've done so many prompts at this point that a lot of things are gonna start coming through and that's gonna start, um, that's gonna start clogging it up, right? So everything's gonna get all queued in there. All right, so now that we've gotten rid of the word photography, every prompt since has done pretty well. Although the words that come out are not, um, they don't actually spell out anything super good. That's okay. Um, here's some of what I've gotten so far. All right, cool. So what I could do right now is I could say, um, I gave my feedback to ChatGPT and I could say, hey, uh, okay, now I would like to, to do this for an app like Yelp. Can you add pictures of food to the signs? I want, I'm gonna say restaurant. I'm gonna say I want lots of detail in these prompts as well. Maybe start off with like five prompts. Okay, so we're gonna get five prompts for a Yelp style app. And we're gonna see what it gives us. And I like, I like to pay attention to the wording here sometimes. Design a captivating phone app concept featuring a user interface that closely resembles Yelp's distinct layout and style complete with high quality images of appetizing restaurant dishes. The design should display key Yelp elements such as the search bar filter ratings and reviews. I think that it's really interesting that it says, and there's a lot of experimentation you could do here where you say, um, the design should display key Yelp elements such as, and then fill in these specific items with what features you want to actually display inside of the app. So um, every time you prompt in mid journey, it's kind of a, a craft shoot a little bit. There's not a entirely um, clear cut way to get the exact thing over and over, but you can try to make the prompt so specific that it does and so similar that you, you modify just one piece of it and um, you know it ultimately works. So I'm gonna test bringing the, the Behance and dribble thing in and out. We're gonna see what it, what it comes up with. So we have something that does look like Yelp but it looks like a very old style Yelp, so it's not very, um, what I might do is just spin this whole thing again and see if it comes up with better concepts. Um, right here, this is pretty good. Um, maybe even this one right here. And when you get into a lot of upscaling, that does bog things down a little bit. But yeah, we've got one of the requests was for a map like interface and it wasn't in this prompt. Um, but I'm curious to see what it does when it when it gets asked to do the map. Okay, these are really cool, and I like the uh, um, this this brought in the Behance part of the prompt. And I think this did turn out pretty cool. Definitely has this like modern sort of um, style to it. So I actually I think with this one down here, I'll take that one 
And let's see here. So yeah, this, uh, you see I didn't include Behance and Dribble and it did not, did not add that. So I'm actually gonna do some of these other ones. And then I'm going to see what that provides. One thing that's interesting about Mid Journey 2 is that it can see out of all of the ones that it generated which one you picked to upscale or spin for versions based off the words that you gave in the prompt. So that's one way that Mid Journey is probably learning in the back end of, you know, like what would actually work down, which didn't. So, so I've got this. I'd love to know what kind of food this is in particular. It has like some sprouts and like some whipped cream. And these look kind of like pancakes, but they could also be apples. So um, very, just very interesting overall. Like what, what these, uh, what kind of restaurant is this and what sort of food is served there? Also, this, this looks like roses and some sort of pie, but is also like a quiche. Hard to tell what that is. Um, really interesting there. Yeah, overall, I think that you get kind of the point uh, by at this this level how you can kind of move from app to app and what sort of prompt you could start with and um, how that could sort of evolve as you as you start to say, hey, I want an app like this, or I want an app like this, or I want an app that has you know, these types of features, or I want an app that has these types of features that could be, there's just a lot of different places that you could, you could go with it that I think are really cool. So I hope this is helpful. And if you hung out with me this whole time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.